what's up everybody welcome back to fake bougie if you are new to my channel welcome don't forget to like and subscribe in today's video i'm going to be doing a frontal install featuring west kiss hair i will be showing you all specifics on how i make it look so natural so if you're interested stay tuned okay so we're getting right into it the hair is from west kiss and this is the packaging it came with this cute bandana that i love to use this is the storage bag for the wig definitely comes in handy the wig cap and they also sent this band and i love these lashes i'm actually going to put them on in this video so this is actually the hair and i thought it was so so pretty it is 26 inches which I am obsessed with. It is 200% density and it is their HD body wave with a 13 by six lace. It does have the combs and the adjustable straps on the inside, which I absolutely love. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to use my tint spray. I've messed up and got the wrong kind the first time I used it, so make sure it really matches your skin tone. You don't wanna to go too light or it's gonna look very awkward. So I'm just gonna use a very, very little bit of concealer and use that to go over my cap. Now you don't have to use the concealer. It's optional if you're gonna use the tint spray, but I'm just so used to doing it and I just feel like it provides extra coverage, so why not? And I just go over all of my hair and you don't need a lot. The more you use, the more cakey it looks and you don't want it to be cakey, you want it to blend and you want this install to look as natural as possible. So make sure that you only use a little bit and just really rub it around and really, um, you know, just get everywhere all over your head. Definitely your hairline and anywhere that you think your part will be in the hair. So after you finish with that, you can go ahead and cut the lace, which is what I'm doing right now. And it doesn't have to be cut any specific way. Just make sure that you aren't too close to your hairline. And after that, you want to go ahead and just put the lace over the cap and your hairline just to see like where it'll sit. And if you need to go back and cut a little more um, of the cap off, this is the time to do that after you just make sure you've cut enough in the first place. And so now I'm just checking, making sure that everything's blending in, which it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how flawless that looks, amazing. And I didn't even have to um, bleach the knots on this wig. All I did was use the um, tint spray and it looks so, so natural. And I just wanted to go through section by section and show you all how natural this looks just with tint spray and no bleaching. So, so pretty. Look at that. And I was so shocked, like everyone thought this looked so natural. Love this. And even though you can see the outline of the cap a little bit, the thing that I do is always make sure that the wig is a little bit up further from the cap. So I don't put it like right on top of the edge of the cap. And so now I'm just gonna cut my lace. Um, the best thing to do with this is to do it with a razor. And the reason you wanna do it with a razor is because you want the edges to be like jagged you don't want a straight cut because if you do a straight cut like a blunt cut you can more easily tell it's lace like someone's eyes can follow it but i had no idea where my razor was so i just went ahead and used scissors and like did my best to try to jack the edges and what i like to do is use some hand sanitizer to just go in and clear off my forehead and just my hairline area where i'm gonna lay the install just because you don't want any extra like powder or anything that you've already used for your install process so far to be clogging your skin right there because that's going to interfere with the glue and the wig sticking like you want it to. And so after I clean that up, I'm going to go in with my bold hold, which as much as I hate using glue. Uh, I really do hate it. It is necessary for me just because it's the only thing that like really lasts. Like when I want to wear a wig for a week or two, that's what really gets it to hold. 
and as you can see everything is up away from my hairline I try my best not to get even near my hairline as much as I can help it and so I just do it in like little dots and then I go in and I rub it down you can use a comb right now I'm using the razor that I all of a sudden found magically <laughs> right after I needed it but yeah I'm just going in and rubbing it down you can also use your finger um, you know whatever it doesn't matter the point is just to get it in a thin layer so that it can dry and I just like melt the cap into the glue as well so as you notice it looked like it was not that it was coming up but just the fuzzies from when you cut it and just yeah using the glue to lay that down instead of going back in and trying to cut all the fuzzies and so after the first one air dried I go back in a second time and just do the same thing two layers is good um, three layers I would say if it's like summertime if you are doing a lot of physical type activity anything like that I would do like three layers but two is fine for me and it lasts a full week plus some so after I get that on and I let it air dry again when I when you use a blow dryer just I don't like it the stick is weird but um, then I go back in as you can see I don't do my sideburns yet I let that hang just because I want to make sure I don't cut too much so I went section by section and laid it on. If you just like slap the wig on your head, it's going to have like creases probably or like wrinkles or it's going to be like uneven at your hairline. So you got to do like, I do the middle and then I do one side and then I do the other. Some people will do like from left going to the right or, you know, vice versa. But whatever works for you as long as you're not just slapping it on and calling it a day and you got to be really careful with that because that glue it will stick so after I do that like I said I'm still keeping the sideburns on I don't cut those until like later on but I'm going to use this cute scarf bandana I don't even know what to call it but I love it and ever since I've done this video I have been using this for like a lot of my installs I even sleep with it like I use it as my um, scarf to secure my lace front while I'm sleeping to just make it last a little bit longer and it works really really good and it gets really tight and so while I am letting that glue just melt into my scalp with my lace front I'm gonna go ahead and curl the hair and this hair you honestly can just curl it like I didn't have to flat iron it or anything first and it's so so pretty y'all I love this hair this is my favorite wig right now anytime someone um, asks me what hair I would recommend or which one I would like buy if I wasn't getting the sponsorships I would definitely pick this one like I will buy from them in a heart attack it is so so pretty it's so nice it's so soft it has so much body like i could go on and on about this hair it does shed but the shedding is very minimal it's normal like you know hair sheds are normal hair sheds so you can't expect a fake well it's human hair but you know like it's not on a scalp so of course you gotta expect that to shed too and it curls so beautifully of course it is body wave but like look at those curls so pretty and this is just me holding like I didn't flexi ride it or anything I just formed the curl with the curling iron held it and just let it drop and so after I get done with that I went back and I pulled my um, hairline out like a little bit further back from the baby hairline and I'm just going in with my wig dealer melting spray and doing the hairline and just making sure all of that is sealed and after I did that I actually put the scarf back on and waited another 15 minutes before I'm doing the process that I'm doing now and right now I'm just trying to find um, exactly where I want my part and just angle in that right and then as you all know I do not use tweezers or anything to do my part um, anytime I do that I always end up with like holes in my lace so I just hate doing it I never do it and so once I find my part, I just go in with my electric hot comb and I 
just form I guess the hairline a little bit better and as I was saying I don't use tweezers I just pluck it like with my hand and I do it a little bit at a time because you don't want to do too much because you can't you know put it back <laughs> so you have to be really careful and take your time and do it a little bit at a time and while I was just doing this entire process I was like man like this just looks so natural like this hair is perfect for the tint spray and like I said with no bleach like even my fiance he thought it looked super natural too and he kind of interrupted my filming so I wanted to show you all his reaction I don't know why that makes me laugh every time I watch it. But anyway, look at how beautiful it turned out. And all I did was take my hands and just comb through with my fingers, the curls. And I do this maybe like every three days, I'll say, three, four days, however often it needs it. And the hair holds curls so good, y'all. It's so bomb. It looks so natural. I am so obsessed. Make sure you all go to West Kiss dot com and order yours i will definitely have the link to this hair in the description box below whether you want this wig or one of the many other amazing beautiful wigs y'all that they have on their website make sure you check them out they also right now you guys like right right now have a buy one get one free sale going on for their hd lace wigs which is a really good deal anywho thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and as always stay bougie